Within this lesson, we'll use visual models to add two fractions rel with related units using the denominators 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, and 12. Here we're asked to add 2 thirds plus 1 6. We'll notice that they are not like units. In one case, we're working with thirds, and in the other case, we're working with sixths. Let's draw a tape diagram for each of those fractions. Here's the tape diagram for two thirds. We'll divide that tape diagram into thirds to shade in two of those thirds. I know that two thirds is there then. So that is two thirds. Now let's draw the tape diagram for one sixth. And you'll notice that it's also the whole fraction bar represents one. And I'll actually use those same lines right there to begin with where we start with thirds there. And then draw another line right in between those there to split each of those thirds into two parts. And I'll shade in one of them. So I have two thirds here, and I have one sixth here. They're not like units. However, I can rename two thirds if we take each third to go ahead and break it apart into two equal parts. We have renamed two-thirds then as four-sixths. And since I now have like units, I can just take four-sixths and add it together with one-sixth to be able to get five-sixths. So two-thirds plus one-sixth equals five-sixths. And five-sixths is in simplest form. Here we're asked to add three-fifths with three-tenths. We notice that we have different units. Draw our tape diagram for three-fifths to begin with. And we shade in three of those for three-fifths. They are related denominators. How do we get from 5 to 10? Right, we would multiply by 2 or double the amount of parts that we are looking at. So if we were to go ahead and split each of those into two pieces, we know that 3 fifths then equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 6 tenths. And we do have to finish our tape diagram there, otherwise we would not have 10 total pieces. 7, 8, 9, and 10. We haven't drawn out 3 tenths yet. Utilizing that same tape diagram from above, we make that the same length. And then we shade in three of them to indicate three tenths. So we have six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine tenths is our answer. Let's write nine tenths to begin with. And then we'll write out the whole number sentence of what we changed and rename this into. We renamed three fifths as six tenths. We added together three tenths to equal. 9 tenths. What we did is we modeled the larger unit. Fifths are larger than tenths. We modeled the larger unit first and then partitioned with lines to get to that smaller unit. To get from fifths 
to tenths. Let's add one eighth plus three fourths. In this case, let's utilize a number line. What whole numbers would you place onto that number line? Did you say zero and one? Our next step is to look at these fractions. I have eighths and I have fourths. Let's start with the larger unit. Larger unit is not eighths. Larger unit is fourths. Fourths are larger than eighths. Fourths are how many times larger than eighths? They're two times as much as an eighth. That's why there's two eighths that'll make up a fourth. So we can go ahead and draw another line to go ahead and split up each of those fourths so that I have eighths. Here is one eighth. We'll mark it onto our number line. That's where I started. One eighth, and I'm adding three fourths. And in adding three fourths, let's see, that would be a fourth there, two more eighths, another fourth, and another fourth, so that we end up at seven eighths. Let me draw that back on over there, and we write plus three fourths. Three fourths does equal six eighths. And our answer again is 7 eighths. We might have gone about and renamed 3 fourths by multiplying by 2 in the numerator and in the denominator. If I had started at 0, it would have been easy to see our fourths, except I started at eighths because we had an eighth here within our addition problem. Say our number sentence with like denominators, that would be one-eighth plus how many eighths? All right, it was six-eighths does equal seven-eighths, and seven-eighths is in simplest form. Can we add fractions with related denominators without a model? Here we're asked to add one-third plus seven-ninths. Which unit is easiest to decompose? Right, thirds. Thirds can be decomposed into what? They can be decomposed into ninths. How many ninths make up a third? Right, three of them. Three ninths make up a third. That would be a multiply by three in the numerator and in the denominator. We tripled each of those. So we have 3 ninths plus 7 ninths, and we have like units there. Keep the 9 the same, so that we're talking about ninths still, and 3 plus 7 is 10. So our answer is 10 ninths, which is not in simplest form. And what we do is we break it apart into its wholes and fractional part, and we can rewrite that as a mixed number. Okay, it is your turn. Can you add a half and an eighth together? Pause the video while you do your work. What did you rename a half to? Did you multiply by 4 in the numerator and in the denominator to get 4 eighths? And when you renamed 1 half as 4 eighths, you would have 4 eighths plus 1 eighth, which equals 5 eighths. The key is to get denominators that are the same. Here's one more for you to do. Can you this time draw a visual model 
You may choose either a number line or fraction bars to help you with your work. Here's three-fourths. That's the easier one to decompose. In this case, we would triple the amount of parts to get from three-fourths to nine-twelfths. This is what we renamed here. And then after we had nine-twelfths here, we would model five-twelfths to be able to add it together. One, two, three, four, five. So we had nine-twelfths plus five-twelfths to equal fourteen-twelfths. Compare that with your work. Did you write, rewrite fourteen-twelfths as a mixed number? And then did you simplify further? Make sure you have that whole written. 1 and 2 twelfths simplifies to what? 1 and 1 sixths. So remember, when we're adding and subtracting fractions, we do have to have denominators that are the same so that we have like units, and we always express our answer within simplest form.